Hey, what's up everybody, Jay here. And months ago on Instagram when I was building Skunkworks version three or version four or whatever version we're on, I don't even know, maybe it's three point B, who knows. Uh, I showed that I did some custom work to my SLI bridges. Now, if you remember in the past, I was using the EVGA Pro Bridge, uh, Pro SLI Bridge, this is the three-way one, but these light up. But usually they light up and they're kind of boring, just a white LED, and I thought maybe I'd go ahead and do a how-to video showing you guys exactly how I changed the LED colors in the Pro Bridges. Now, I'm using the S2, or the version two bridge, and these are even better candidates for this mod. So don't go anywhere because this is how you can really make your system pop with color if you're using one of the EVGA SL, EVGA, EVGI, EVG, whatever. EVGA Silent Series power supplies offer excellent silence and efficiency through their new EVGA Eco Mode technology and also features a seven year warranty for worry-free gaming. Click the link in the description to learn more. Now the problem I had with the first version here of the Pro SLI bridge was the fact that the LEDs were backlit and I mean granted it's all going to be backlit but what I mean is it's actual dots of LEDs behind this shining through. So it, give you, it gives you a real uneven, ununiformed look of lighting so no matter how you went about it, the EVGA didn't light up nice and solid. Well, with the Pro uh, Bridge version two here, they actually went with side lighting, side LED lighting that will illuminate a white piece of plastic that makes it nice and uniform. And as you can see, mine glows yellow because of this mod. Now, obviously my Pro Bridge is not silver like everyone else's. This, I just simply disassembled the thing and painted the aluminum part uh, a gray color that matches the gunmetal color that's in my case. So if you wanna know more about the spray painting, uh, Paul's Hardware actually did a video recently. Uh, we didn't collaborate this. I'm just shouting him out because I thought it was a good video about how to paint your SLI bridges. Gr granted, his was the flexible ribbon bridge. Painting process is still pretty much the same. So let's go ahead and turn around here. Let's disassemble this thing and show you exactly what you need to know to get this thing a nice custom color. Transition. So here's the V1 and the V2 side by side, just so you guys can kind of see, you know, how much they've changed. The V2 is actually really big, especially with this metal piece here. Now, as with all things, to do the job properly, you're gonna need some tools. I'm only gonna be using this multi-tool. And I, again, I have mentioned this, I don't know how many times, this is kind of like my go-to tool because it's got so many things inside of it. So you've got your driver handle, and then in here you've got also two multi bits this one's in a really tight that's what she said come on holy crap there we go so you've got two different sizes of phillips and then you've got two different sizes of flatheads and then here you actually have a nut driver that's got two different sizes on here i believe it's got a an 8 mil and a 10 mil so these are also very common like the small one here this is perfect for you know like power supply screws or case screws and you've got a 10 mil, which isn't really used anywhere in computers, but anyway. So really what you are gonna need though is a flathead screwdriver, and you're gonna need a Phillips head screwdriver. If you've got sort of a multi-tool kit or something like this, a little screwdriver kit, this would also come in very handy. So anyway, those are the tools we're gonna be using today. Now the method I'm using to turn the LEDs yellow in the EVGA Pro Bridges is identical for both. The disassembly process is a little bit different. On the Pro Bridge version one, these are Torx head screws right here. So you're gonna need to make sure you have small Torx heads. And that's where this kit came in handy is this kit right here on the top. These are all Torx. Uh, on the Pro Bridge version two, these are just Phillips uh, heads. So for the sake of this video, we're gonna do the tutorial here on the V2, but the process and the way I'm changing the LED color works on both. So on the back of the Pro Bridge here, you're just gonna loosen up both of these Phillips head screws. Be careful not to lose them, they are pretty tiny. As I say that, everything's just kinda of falling around. So we're gonna set those aside. Now the second you do that, the aluminum piece and everything is just gonna come apart, as you can see. Those two screws are what's holding everything together. Now, at this point, this is where you can go ahead and paint this metal piece. It's just aluminum and you can you know, spray paint it without even having to sand it. I didn't because it's a really textured, uh, kind of a satin material. It's like a bead blasted aluminum. Paint is gonna stick to it really good. So pick your favorite color paint. You can make that match your system as well. Red, black, white, 
blue, whatever. Set that aside. And then you'll see here on the Pro Bridge, uh, it's kind of separated. Now you want to be careful because if you look inside there, you have actually got a, uh, a small wire that's connected there. So you're going to want to very, very carefully simply lift up on this wire. It literally lifts up. Now, I'm going to try and do this again with an extreme close-up so you guys can see what I did. But it doesn't, it doesn't pull out, it pulls up. So showing this once again here with extreme close-up, this is, and, and my nasty fingers, I've been working on my car, don't, don't judge me. Anyway, there it is right there. Again, just slightly pull up. As you can see, it just pops right out. All right, so this is what the Pro Bridge looks like without anything attached to it. So you can go ahead and set this aside. We're not gonna be doing anything to this. What we need to do now is, on mine, you're not gonna see it simply because it's already been popped out, but there's gonna be a couple of little like plastic welds on these four holes. You can see right here, there are four silver holes where there's gonna be prongs that stick through and then there's gonna be like dabs of plastic on there. Now what I did was I just took uh, a tiny flathead or in my case, an even smaller flathead from this kit and I just simply pried up on those plastic pieces to break those little tabs off and it's not gonna damage anything. It's just basically they stuck it through and then they put like a dab of plastic, kind of a, I don't know, melted plastic on there and they will pop right off. And then when you do that, the rest of this thing will pretty much just come off on its own. But you might have to take a small Phillips or flathead and kind of pry up on the sides here. And trust me, this looks kind of scary because it's bending, but you're not gonna hurt anything. And then once you get all of the sides up, this is the part that we are actually modifying here. And as you can see, you can kind of see how I did it already. So this is the light panel that is inside of the Pro Bridge. So this LED wire lights up an LED that's on the side right here, and it's recessed. Let's see if I can actually show you that. Now this LED right here is actually recessed, as you can see, so it's kind of even with the plastic, which is gonna make this thing side lit, and it's gonna make the entire panel illuminate. That's how we're getting nice, even color. Now the other piece we have in here is this little plastic uh, kind of a shield, which is what makes the EVGA logo flush right here. And this thing will just pop out once you get all those. But we don't need to do anything with this. In fact, we're going to just go ahead and leave this inside the Pro Bridge. And as you can see here, I have got these different layers of film. Now these are just amber pieces of flash film. Now if you guys know anything about photography, you'll know that you can buy these, these layers of film that actually go on top of your flash so that you could add color or warmth or color correction to your flash. So that way you don't actually, you know, get that harsh white light that you get with a flash on a camera. Now you can find these at any camera store, Sammy's camera online. They just come in sheets of plastic and they're designed literally to be taped over the top of your flash. And you can get them in blue, red, amber, green, magenta, pretty much any color of the rainbow. Obviously I chose amber here. Now the more layers of this stuff that you use, the more intense the color is gonna be. So because we wanna change a white light, which is very pure, I'm using four layers of this. And all I did was take them and cut them to size so that they fit in between those black prongs. So I'll go ahead and sit those in there. They're not glued because this mod is completely reversible. You can change the color later. So as long as you make it so that they fit in between those prongs and they completely cover the EVGA logo, then you're not going to have uh, any you know, non-uniform color. So that's how I made it yellow. There's nothing modified to the bridge. There's nothing modified to the light panel. The only thing modified was the color of the bridge. It's uh, metal support itself. And that's it. So then you go ahead and reverse the order of which we took it apart to put it back together. Now because you broke off those plastic tabs here, you're probably thinking, how the heck is this thing going to stay in place? Well, the prongs are still slightly bigger than the actual light bar itself. So those will literally just snap back down in there if you listen. If I can actually get them to, to line up. You wanna be careful, you don't wanna break it. There. So those just snap back in there and as you can see, there, was no, there wasn't even really a reason for them to glue those down if you wanna be technical about it. It can only go in one way because of the way that the holes are keyed. And then basically you just put the thing back together. 
Now let's go ahead and talk about how to put the plug back in here. Now, like we already talked about, the plug is not, it doesn't snap in or it doesn't slide in, it snaps in. So all you're gonna do is you're gonna take the plastic piece here and this, this part gets a little bit funky because you have the plastic part hanging on here. You could technically do this before snapping it in and then reassemble everything. This is just the way I'm doing it. So you're gonna take this, you're gonna line it up flat with the prongs, it is keyed, and you're simply gonna push down on it. That's it, that's all you gotta do. There are little tabs on there that will keep you from doing it the wrong way. But once you line it up and you push it down, there, it's not going anywhere. So now the only thing left to do is line it all back up, put the screws down, make sure when you put this thing down that that wire's not pinched on anything. It should kind of slide up and go right in between the uh, SLI uh, solder points there. So line it up. Take those uh, little terminals there for the holes inside the metal piece, push it in. It's only gonna go one way, by the way. So if you have it upside down, it's not gonna work. Flip it over, slides right in. Take your screws and retighten. That's it. This whole mod should take five minutes at the most. The part that'll take longer is probably cutting your uh, plastic pieces down to size and getting these stupid little screws to reline up. I don't have a magnetic screwdriver head here because, you know, when you're working with PCs, you don't want magnets. So I don't use... I'm losing my man card here because I, I can't get it in the hole. How in the hell did I ever end up with two daughters? Jeez. So that's it, pretty easy, huh? I bet at some point during this video, someone was thinking to themselves, well, I don't have the EVGA. I didn't say EVGI. EVGA Pro Bridge, so why does this matter? Well, to be honest, this technique will work with any sort of LED backlighting that's got a shine through hole. I don't know if that's actually the official term for it, but if it's backlighting that light shines through like a cutout similar to either this bridge here, right? This is just a cutout that light shines through, the Pro Bridge 2, or anything else in your system that you can easily disassemble and get some film in there between the actual light uh, source and the part that shines the light through. If you can get film in there, then you can change the LED colors of anything. So technically this mod works on any sort of LED structure that's built that way. All right, you guys have requested this video. I went ahead and did it. Hope this helps you guys. Uh, send me your pictures of what you guys do with this technique on your system. Send them to at Jay's Two Cents on Twitter uh, or at Jay's Two Cents uh, for Facebook fan page. And I'd love to see what you guys do to get creative with the uh, flash film. If you guys wanna know about where to buy the flash film, uh, Sammy's camera online carries it. b &H photo online carries it. Heck, I got mine off Amazon for like four bucks. So you guys can uh, do that. And in fact, you can use the Amazon link down below if you guys want to help support the channel. I'm, I'm never going to be opposed to that. But anyway, regardless of where you guys get it, make sure you show me your pictures of what you guys do because I think uh, custom LED color is really how you can really make your system start to pop and be your own and get some color in there. So anyway, that's all for today, guys. Uh, thanks for your continued support. So many amazing people out there following and supporting this channel, and that's what keeps me going and wanting to do these things for you guys. Uh, not to mention it's fun. It's fun to see what, you know, 375,000 people are doing to their systems or want to do to their systems. So anyway, guys, I'm gonna get on out of here. Thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Oh yeah, and if you want more tutorials, make sure you comment down below on what it is you want me to show you how to do. Uh, unless it's make a baby, because obviously, as I showed you guys, I have a terrible time getting it in the hole. <laughs>